So I'm back to the channel from the one of the only review gamers. Today we're going to take a look at the DC Batman 4 film collection from 1989 all the way up to 1997. So you can see this is the 4K Ultra HD release of the DC uh, Batman 4 film collection. Uh, you get the 4K Ultra HD plus the Blu-ray plus digital copy on all four movies on this set. So, turn it aside here, we get the 1989 Batman, the 1992 Batman Returns, the 1995 Batman Forever, as well as the 1997 Batman and Robin. You see we got the 4K Ultra HD right there. This set is released by DC and Warner Brothers. So you can see an awesome action foursome now in 4K Ultra HD with HDR. The Batman 4 film collection from 1989 all the way up to 1997 includes Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman Robin plus hours of special features including must-see profiles, documentaries, making of featurettes, director commentaries by Tim Burton and Joel Shoemaker theatrical trailers, and music videos. It includes Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin in their own unique style in this 4K Ultra HD 4 movie set. It includes special features on all the movies. Then it tells you how to get the complete 4K experience. It tells you what the digital movie is, which is uh, Movies Anywhere. Um, we also get run times and the ratings. So Batman is 126 minutes, and it is rated... Uh, PG-13 Batman Returns is also uh, 126 minutes and it's also rated uh, PG-13 and we also got Batman Forever which is 121 minutes and it is rated PG-13 we also got Batman Robin which is 124 minutes and it's also rated PG-13 as well so get this set flipped over I have already redeemed the digital code in this set even though it's after the deadline because it said redeem code by September 30th of 2021 we're now in 2022 so that code is way expired but I was still able to use it um, so you can see we got the amber look with the silhouette of the bat uh, right there uh, one thing I do want to say for the record I have not seen any of the Batman movies none of them I've not seen a single one of these so none of these may be any good. Some of them might be good. Other ones not. I don't know. This was just... I've heard reviews saying these are pretty solid movies. So I just wanted to take a look. Get this set and take a look at it. From my, from my knowledge, they say this is not as good as the Dark Knight trilogy. Which includes Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises. I'm not a big DC fan. I first got it starting to DC... Uh, right when Man of Steel first came out in 2013, then I watched Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, and I got the entire DC, almost the entire DC EU collection. But first off, this is before the DCU, so let's just get this started. So we're gonna take all the Blu-rays out of this box. We're gonna set this box right there. I'm gonna go through one of these at a time. Uh, first up, we got. Uh, Batman, which is, you see, it has this nice black case. I feel like this black case is actually fitting for the Batman character, considering his name is literally Batman. And from my knowledge, he is literally the Dark Knight. So this black really does make the Batman movie stand out compared to other movies released in this format. To me, they should have done this, um, make a special case for the Batman movies altogether, and make all the Batman cases um, black. Because there is some Blu-ray disc that has different color cases. Um, in fact, one of the movies I have in my own collection literally has a black case. So this fits, so that they can do it for that movie, they can do it for this movie as well. And it's also released by Warner Brothers, I believe. New Line Cinema is one of the two. So first up, uh, we got see we got Batman as well as the Joker. And see them on the cover here. Uh, we got Jack Nicholson, Jack Nicholson, Michael Keaton, and Kim Basner, which I believe. Michael Keaton plays Batman. I believe Jack Nicholson is Joker. I do not know who Kim Basler plays, plays in this movie at all. Um, so I like this blue look that they have. And I like how the DC logo changes on all the movies. So you see that later on. 
Here's the spine. It says 4K Ultra HD, Batman, DC, and Warner Brothers. Then also here's the back. We got a confrontation of Batman as well as the Joker. And we got a little image of the Joker right there. We also got a nice image of the uh, Batmobile. We got some special features on here. And then it says Jack Nicholson is a Joker who emerged from a horrible accident as a manicable criminal. Michael Keaton is the Cape Crusader who emerged from a who merged from a childhood trauma to become a masked crime fighter. Kim Basner is Vicky Vale, a journalist for both men and Batman, is the movie that is all out spectacular directed by Tim Burton. Don't really tell you much about the movie, so I'm um, pretty much like it. Joker, Jack Nicholson is a Joker, and then Michael Keaton is definitely Batman. Uh, special features get a uh, commentary by director um, Tim Burton on the set with Bob Kane Legends of the Dark Knight the history of Batman uh, Shadows of the Bat the cinematic saga of the Dark Knight parts 1 through 3 beyond Batman documentary gallery um, music videos heroes and villains profile galleries and Batman the complete Robin storyboard sequence as well as the trailer for this movie as well. We had and open this up right there. And then the DC Universe uh, membership. I believe they stopped doing that. So we get the 4K disc right here with Batman logo over the city. And then we get the city down there with the Batman logo in the sky. I kind of like the 4K disc better but I'll be using this one to watch the movie. So there is um, Batman, the original one. Next up, we got Batman Returns. So you see, we got the return of Michael Keaton. Uh, we also got Danny DeVito and Michael or Michelle Pfeiffer. I believe that is the Riddler? Batman and. Black Cat, Catwoman, something like that. I don't know. Definitely Batman. So, okay, I guess that's the Penguin and that is Catwoman. Okay. Well, this one actually looks like a little bit... Oh, I did not notice that on the first uh, Batman movie. But you can see there is a skyline with Batman and the Joker looming over it. So that's pretty neat. And they did that same design over to... um. Batman Returns as well to the skyline, then and then all three characters, Batman, Catwoman, and the Penguin in the sky there. Turn it to the side, we got the 4K Ultra HD, and uh, then we got the Batman Returns, and then DC, this time in purple, and then the Warner Bros. logo. Pause that if you want to read that, and then pause that if you want to read that too. However, I will be reading the special features. Uh, it has another commentary by Tim Burton. The Bat, the Cat, and the Penguin making a featurette. Shadows of the Bat, the cinematic saga of the Dark Knight Part 4. Beyond Batman Documentary Gallery. Silhouettes and Banshee face-to-face -face music video. The Heroes and Villains um, profile gallery. And as well as the theater, the trailers for the Batman Returns movie. Take this out of the screen. So we got the Batman Returns digital code right there. Let's place that right there. And we got the Batman Returns on 4K. And then Batman Returns on Blu-ray. So, nice set right there of Batman Returns. Once again, I'm not seeing that movie either. Up next, I believe that's the movie that has Jim Carrey in it. Um, it's also on the back of it says the best Batman ever. I don't know about that. I can't say that's true or not. Because I honestly do not know. So anyway, here we go. Three, two, one. We got Batman Forever. Which has Val Kilmer, uh, Tommy Lee Jones, uh, Kim Jim Carrey, 
Nicole Kidman, and Chris O'Donnell. I believe this is when Michael Keaton stopped playing Batman. I also believe this is the movie where Jim Carrey does not direct. I don't believe Michael Keaton or Jim Carrey directed this movie. Okay, Val Kimmer is Batman. Uh, Tommy Lee Jones is Two-Face. And Jim Carrey is the Riddler. And Nicole Kidman is Dr. Chase something. And Chris O'Donnell is Robin. And that's what we get along with the Batmobile, the Batwing, the Batboat, and the Batsub. Special features by commentary director Joel Shoemaker. Additional scenes. Uh, Riddle Me This. Why is Batman Forever? Shadows of the Bat. The Cinematic Saga of the Dark Knight Part 5. Beyond Batman Documentary Gallery. Seal Kiss from a Rose music video. The Heroes and Villains profile galleries as well as the trailer. Get this out of frame. We get a trade of the code, which I already used. And then we get the Batman Forever on 4K. And um, Batman Forever on Blu-ray. This time in this green collar. So I had to place this back in here. I'll close that up. And last but not least, we got the final movie in this Batman 4 movie collection. In 3, 2, 1. It is a... Uh, Batman and Robin, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, George Clooney, Chris O'Donnell, Uma Thurman, and Alice uh, Silverstone. So I believe Mr. Cold, and as well as Batman right there. Um, so we got, oh, never mind. That is not Mr. Cold, that is in fact Mr. Freeze. So George Clooney is Batman, Mr. Freeze is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uma Thurman is Poison Ivy. Doesn't say who played Robin. Wait, nope. Chris O'Donnell plays Robin. And Batgirl is played by Al Al Alice Silverstone. So we do have some special features. We got the commentary by director Shul Joel Shoemaker. Uh, Shadows of the Bath, the Cinematic Saga of the Dark Knight Part 6. Additional scenes, Alfred Lost Love, Batman Beyond Documentary Gallery. Three music videos, the heroes and villains profile gallery, as well as a trailer. So I believe Joel Shoemaker is also director of Batman Forever, and it is indeed. So we got two directors, it seems like, for this set. Uh, we got Jim Jim Curry and Joel Shoemaker. So let's go ahead and open this up. So we got the digital code of Batman Robin. We have Batman on 4K, and we also get uh, Batman and Robin on Blu-ray in this nice red color. And I forgot to show the spine there. So we got the 4K Ultra HD, uh, Batman and Robin, we got the DC logo, this time the red color, and then as well as that classic WB Shield, Warner Brothers. So hey guys, do you have it? There is the Batman 4 movie collection. Of not only Batman and Robin, but also uh, Batman Forever. We also got Batman Returns. As well as the original Batman. I'll let you know, I'll let you guys know how these movies are when I watch them. Like I said, I've not seen a single one of these movies. So I'm kind of curious on how these movies are. There you have it, there is the Blu-ray, there is the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray plus digital code of the Batman 4 movie collection from 1989 all the way up to 1997. Forgot to show you guys the top, which is just the Batman logo. Batman logo right there with all the Batman movies listed in order, which is kind of nice. So if you ever get confused, you just look at that and see what order they go in because this, this order may get messed up every once in a while. I usually try to keep them in this order. But sometimes, you know, it's just harder. So guys, thank you guys for watching. This is my review, my unboxing on the Batman 4 movie collection. Guys, thank you for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment in the comment section down below on what is your favorite Batman movie from this um, Batman 4 movie collection. And what is your favorite Batman after overall? It could be one out of the set. It could be one on the set. I have seen some Batman. I've seen uh, Batman v Superman, um, Dawn of Justice, which is classified as both a Batman and a Superman movie. 
I also watched the Adam West um, Batman TV series. That To me, that's my favorite Batman. I might change once I watch all these different Batmans and see how well they do on playing the Cape Crusader. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me go in the comments, comments section down below on what other videos do you have to see. Man, such as ranking videos and stuff like that. So guys, um, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and leave a like as well. See you next time on the next unboxing.